Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. Gonna do an Earl Scruggs classic today. We're gonna play ground speed. I'm gonna give you a way to get through ground speed uh, just with a lot of information that you already know. And we'll add a couple of things. This thing's got a reverse roll. We haven't really looked at a whole lot. So we'll do that and let's see, it's got a couple other little licks, but I'll give you one functional break and then everything else kind of fall into place. And I'll show you a couple of the little tricks with it. And uh, but let me play through the first little break that I'm going to show you and just uh, show you how that goes. Uh, be sure to go out and find Earl Scruggs' version of this, uh, and it's on the Foggy Mountain Banjo album. So here's the first little part. So you got to have a kickoff. And so it's going to start at our G shape at the ninth fret. So that's, you know, that's that position. And it sounds like, so that's our kickoff. So let me play through the tune and we'll dive right in. so bad uh, I'll show you a couple other little things in there and there's an ending too and we'll, we'll talk about that later but that's that's the gist of the tune so it starts with that kickoff that I talked about and all I'm doing is holding that G shape but my ring finger I'm gonna pick it up and it's just the one and two and then the third and then third again you're gonna put your ring finger down on the third string and then you can hit the one and two again. So. Then we're going to slide up to the 12th fret. Now I do that with my two middle fingers. You can do it any old way you want to, but that coming from here to here, I just use my two, my social finger on the second string and my ring finger on the first string. And this is where we're going to do our reverse roll. And it's just one, two, five. And then we're going to slide back to the 10th fret and do the same thing. So, all right, so that's six notes. So that's part of a roll. So one, two, five, one, two, five, two, one. And so when you're going to come back to this G, you're going to do two, one. So there's your roll pattern. That's the next little bit. So you got backwards or reverse, call it whatever you want to. So it's five, two, one, five. So five, two, one, five, pinch. And then I do a five, one. Or it can even be, it can be open. So. And then slide Cripple Creek. And then a hammer. So that that should be so let me see what I've got. And then it does it again. And then this time we're going to slide up to the seventh fret. It's a forward roll. So you're just barring that at the seventh, but I'm using those two middle fingers. So pinky goes down five, two, one, five. And then I like to hit the fourth string and I leave it ringing. So let's look at that half of the break. So it starts at the 12.
back up to the 12. We're going to do that same thing again. We're going to do our little walk down. This time we're going to do the pull off three, two, three, one. And then we're going to do a forward roll with a slide from two to four, three, two, one, five. C chord. But you're just going to hit the index finger on the second string. Five, one, one. And then we're going to do a variation. It's the 302 lick, but we're not going to put that index down. So it's just a forward and reverse roll with a slide. And then the, you're going to get this little D shape, but it's just, so it's just the index and the ring on three and four. And so you're going to go three, four, three, one, three, four, one. And then some G lick. I don't care. You can do three, one, five, three, one, three, four. Or you can do, and we've done that before. It's three, pinch, one, two, three, one, three. So let me take you through that kind of slow. us through the A part of the tune. Uh, maybe that wasn't too quick, but if, if, you're, if you're looking for ground speed, I think you're going to be all right. And uh, be sure, you know, you can slow the video down so that it, it, it'll make it a little easier. All right, so let's look at the B part of the tune. And so that's the little part where it goes into the D. I'm sorry. We're going to grab that partial D shape that we've done before. So it's an index on the third string, second fret, ring finger, fourth string, fourth fret. And then the right hand is going to play four with the thumb. And then the index is going to play index and ring will play the first and third strings so it's four three and then four again and then four and then the one and two so so your index finger is just swapping strings and you're gonna have to sit and play with that rhythm but let me play it a couple more times so you can get the feel for it like one two three four and it hits third string open so it's three slide from two to four three two one three open four to second and then five three one five three one just to fill some space Put pretty, pretty much anything there you want to. All right, so let's look at that again. So, five, three, one, five, three, one, does 
that lick again. Same thing. Does it one more time. All right, this is going to be a little different. So, three. So we're going to three, three, two, one, three, four. And then you're going to slide up one fret from the second fret to the third. You're going to put your ring finger down and you're going to pinch three and one together. So. And then your index finger is going to go down on the third string right there where it is. Three, two, one, five. So that little lick sounds like. Then you're going to go to a C chord, two, five, one, one. So we did that. I think we did that already. But so it's two, five. You hit your first string. Pick in uh, your ring finger up. And then any old G lick could do. Uh, we'll do a, let's do a 302 lick uh, that we've done before. And then a tag. All right, so now you've got a break. So let's put all that together real quick. And don't forget your lead in. play that break again so it comes back around you're going to do this same walk down as you did before but you're going to change the B part and it's just so it's going to be at seventh fret back up to six back to the seventh and then to this G position at eight and nine and you can fancy that up any way you want to but the basic principle is And then it's a little Cripple Creek lick. So it's just slide, pull, slide, pull, pinch, and then. And then you're going to pick Yankee Doodle. Yeah, so it's. So that's all the three, 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 two, three, two. It does that little and then that's our pull off slide so we've done that two five one one and then any old tag G lick long G lick and all I did there was forward in reverse And then a tag on the end. Or you can build it out of stuff you know. Now, you need an ending. So after you've done all of that, so we've done. hit your G open you're gonna to go to this G right here and you're gonna hit your fourth string 
and you're going to vamp that and then to the G and then you're just going to slide your ring finger and pinky up so you got that diminished sound so and then we're going to do a bit of our shaving haircut so pinch five to one that's all we need is that one time gives you the ending so let me play through here folks today stick with it uh, you can do this be sure to subscribe and check out the other videos I don't know where they're gonna land today uh, there will probably be something here and there'll probably be something here and here just because I don't want to cover up my pretty face and uh, be sure to do that and check out my patreon account if you want to it's uh, patreon.com slash Jim Pankey and you can find that if you want to do that. Appreciate it. All right. We'll see you next time.